In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a report at a given interval along a baseline alignment that displays the elevation difference between two surfaces. Here I have my baseline alignment, and I also have loaded two surfaces, an original and a proposed surface. And what I want to know is the elevation difference between these two surfaces along this baseline. To begin, I want to create an isopack surface between the original and the proposed surface. To do that, I'll go to Surface, Design Surface, Generate Isopack Surface. And I want to find the difference between the original and the proposed. And I'm going to give this a name of Elevation Difference. And we'll go ahead and triangulate that. Click Apply, and you can see here that the elevation difference surface has been created. If we take a look at the properties, the elevation range of this surface is negative 6.415 as the minimum and 1.749 as the maximum. Those do represent the elevation difference between the two surfaces. For the second step, I'm going to import a vertical alignment along the baseline at the elevations of this isopack surface. To do that, I'll go to File, Import, Geometry. We're going to import a vertical from Surface. We want to make sure that we have the new isopack surface that we just created selected going to give the vertical alignment a name. So I'm going to set the interval here at 25, so that will specify the interval at which PBIs are inserted into the vertical alignment. Um, the reason we're going to do this is because each PBI obtains its elevation from the active surface, so um, that should be exactly correct. Go ahead and click apply here and you can see it's successful completion and we have now created this isopack alignment we can review that alignment and again you can see that the elevations that have been pulled um, from the surface to create this alignment are <coughs> the elevation difference between the two surfaces so now for the final step, we'll just run our XML report by going to Tools, XML Reports, Station Base. On the General tab, we will um, run it along the horizontal alignment baseline. We're going to set the reporting interval at 25 feet. And we'll make sure to include the baseline alignment. I'll click Apply, and the report is displayed. And you can see here that um, actually the default report that comes up, the station offset along single alignment, gives you the station at every 25 feet and the northing, easting, and the elevation, and this elevation here will be the elevation difference between the two surfaces.